Hi there, my name is Star Uzuki, and today we're going to be talking about tuna. Do you like tuna? Because I don't. That shit smells disgusting. My dad loves tuna. He used to open up that the cans of it in the house, and it smelled so bad. But today, we're going to be watching a video from TLC of a man who is addicted to smelling and eating tuna. This is the man right here who's addicted to eating tuna. I, I don't my understand how, but we'll find out. Lawrence, Kansas, which is in the middle of nowhere. It's farms and country stuff is very, very quiet. Uh. Life here in Lawrence is very boring. I mean, so far he seems pretty normal. So far, he doesn't seem like a man who's going to be addicted to tuna, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Also, what classifies as an addiction here? Is it just a guy who just likes eating tuna, or is it like actually he needs it to like survive, you know? Has <laughs> his can opener and tuna with him at all times. Man came prepared. Got a God coffee damn. for you. He really got oh, in there. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't put it in the coffee. Please don't. I'm begging. Nope. Nice way to start the day. She's just like, what the f is happening here? Like, I was a barista once. If a guy just opened up a can, honestly, I wouldn't have cared, but <laughs> if a guy just opened up a can of tuna and started smelling up the restaurant, I'd be like, can you not? Can you, like, go outside, please? Thank you. Hey, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fish in a small can. They call me Tuna Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Hello, Tuna Tyler. Let's go. We we stand Tuna Tyler. Let's and go. I'm addicted to smelling tuna. When people see me I mean, smelling tuna, he seems tuna fine. He seems like public, a genuine guy. You know, they might think it's a little bit different for sure. It might look weird to other people, but to me, I think it's perfectly fine. I love smelling tuna every day, all the time, all day, all night. Any day. Every okay, but day. how did this start? What what caused this? You know. Not only do I like smelling tuna, but I also definitely like to drink a little bit of the juice Ugh. right out of the can. Nasty. What I love about tuna smell is definitely the the fish light aroma with a little bit of sweetness. But what I love about the taste is the texture. He's smelling it so much. It's like every three seconds he has to go in for another whiff. Like, come on, man. Take a break. Take a break, man. It's got to wear off. I love it. I like it not too wet, but not too, too dry. Wait, what? What do you mean not too wet, not too... What are you talking about? I thought this video was about tuna. What are you talking about? What? Huh? Where is this going? Fifteen cans. Okay, that's not that much. I mean, fifteen cans a week is a lot, but it's not that much, honestly. Fifteen cans is not that much. Like, I go through more of that in like other things, so that's fine. Looking at my stash of tuna. I have solid. I have chunk light. I really don't like albacore, but I have like yellow fin. All tuna will never ever be created equal. <laughs> I like the tuna in the oil over the water uh -huh. because it's like the oil allows the tuna to stay. Ugh. Look at the texture of that. That's literal just like mushy brain. Like why? 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 What about that looks appetizing? Why would you want to smell that stuff? Why? I just I don't understand it. Can someone please explain to me? I, I don't know. In between not too dry, but then not too Ugh. loose and mushy. Hmm. Why do you have to use your fingers too? Grab a gosh dang spoon for for the love of God. I swear to God, I feel like the producer said, hey, can you just grab it with your hands? Make it nice and visceral, please. Like, there's no way this man actually just grabs this shit with his hands. Ugh. Oh, it's dripping down his face. Look at this. Look at this. What the? What is going on here? Come on. This is why you use a spoon. And I don't mind when the juices run all down my chin. Why? I like it all over myself because it makes me feel nice and dirty. Okay. Now I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's just him enjoying tuna anymore. I, I think he might have um, an attraction to tuna. Nothing wrong with that, but like... You know, just a, just another aspect, you know? I don't think it's just the smell. He's always liked Ugh. fish. When he was little, and most kids 
during Easter wanted chocolate in their baskets and things like that. My man was like, hey, yo, he, he was knocking on houses in Halloween. It was like, can I have some tuna, please? Thanks. <laughs> Eat the chocolate. So we put tuna, cans of sardines, because he liked that. But I didn't think it would turn into, you know, to where he was smelling it and keeping it and being addicted to tuna. Some kids will get candy canes. I would get cans of tuna. He goes up to Santa is just like, Hey, yo, can I have some cans of tuna, please? Thanks. <laughs> Sam's like, um, sure, kiddo. <laughs> That'd just be like a little luxury morsel just to put in the bottom of the stocking. And here's the continuation of Tuna Man. Let's catch see catch if anything's up. happened. Nice you guys, you know, it's been a while. Good to see you too. The future, you know? yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. Cheers to having kids and everything. Mm -hmm. They have kids? You're next. Yeah, you're the next Tuna Man one. has, Tuna Tan has kids? What was his name again? <laughs> I hope, I hope. I'm scared. I'm scared. No, you ain't scared. Oh, I just read the title. Oh no, <laughs> I'm scared you know, for this out man. On the and stuff, but yeah. just you know, I I ain't found her yet. Plenty of them. Uh huh. I wonder so. why. Hmm. <laughs> the women don't like the guy who smells of tuna. Interesting. Saying. Interesting. Got to try to settle down yeah. one of these days. I actually got on a dating app and I actually found a girl that wants to go on a blind date with me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So you wait. How does? Okay. Question. If you're on a dating app. How is it a blind date, you know? Well, like, you know what they look like. You're on the app. Like, huh? Right. <laughs> ex yeah, ex right. Right. What, yeah. huh? Yeah. How does that make any sense? Actually, I'm pretty nervous. My greatest fear is definitely rejection. I'd want to grow. I mean, yeah, that's everyone's greatest fear. No one wants to get rejected. Ob like, obviously, it happens. It's for the best, but like... You know, it's not something anyone wants. To accept me for me. Just I have this little secret. Again, those are just normal things. This guy is fairly normal other than he likes sniffing tuna. You know, just, you know, you know, to reveal my, my, my secret. How did TLC make this into a show in the first place? Like, <laughs> like, I know they have all their, like, My Strange Addiction stuff, right? But, like... How how is how is a guy that's like just likes eating and smelling tuna a few times a week? Like how is that an addiction? It's not an addiction. It's just a guy that really enjoys tuna. Like I don't think it's an addiction at this point because it's not like harming him. It's not harming anyone else. It's just a guy who enjoys eating his tuna. How did they make a show out of this? I don't understand. You know, addiction to smelling tuna. But here I am watching it, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You said what? Smelling tuna? Hey, I'm, I'm... Wait, did they not know this? Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. Addiction to smelling tuna. No. Oh. <laughs> they, his friends didn't know. They didn't know. I don't even think he has an addiction. I'm going to be honest. I think it's just a guy who enjoys tuna. Like, I've said that like a few times, but come on. <laughs> you said what? Smelling tuna? Hey, I'm... I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. You gotta repeat that I one mean, more time. Just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Run that back. You. Pull out the pantry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just went like, "This is my tuna. <laughs> this is my place now." <laughs> he just pulled out the can. He was prepared. Oh, yeah, you got, you got it on. I keep it with me everywhere I go. Ah, uh, damn. The, okay, you know what? I take it back. Maybe it is an addiction. I maybe I was wrong. Carries like a little thing of tuna in his pocket. Was I, I, I like words can't even. He's just like, what the it, heck? Like, trying to get that figured out, right? I now. definitely like when I open the can. I like to like get a little lick. You that, know? Why? Why do you have to do it like that? Why do you go? Bleh. He just he did a little blap. <laughs> so that's when I just know I'm like, whoo! You gonna be smelling crazy. I always knew that he smelled a little bit fishy, but I just thought that he might not wear deodorant. He might just go the <laughs> organic route. You think I should tell her about my tuna the first time? My I'm honest like, opinion, no. Just don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of honestly worried about him. Girls do not like guys that smell like tuna. I mean, you never know. Maybe I'm sure there's a girl out there who's perfect for this man. I'm sure there's a fellow tuna enjoyer out there. He's He'll meet them one day. Hard time trying to find That's a, a dingy other, can opener wife, too. Like, come on, get a better can opener. Come on, TLC, can't there, you give him a better can opener here? Oh my! <laughs> His friends are just like, "What the? F are you doing? That shit's nasty." See, they agree. They agree. They're saying. They're like, "Come on, man, you're ruining our food yeah, now." Yeah, so I will be bringing a can of tuna with me on my first date. 
it's important that she accepts my addition because I don't want to lead something on that's not going anywhere in the beginning. Again, he seems like a genuine guy. Look, like he's he's saying I don't want to lead anyone on. I want to be honest and upfront. He seems fine. He just he just got to get the tuna thing sorted out a bit. I I'll find someone else who's a fellow tuna that, enjoyer. Man. Thank you everyone so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night or whatever time it is for you. Bye-bye.